people, here we go again with these eGPUs <laughs> with the Oculink. Oh, by the way, hello, viewers. Another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope your five senses of work, health, and strength is good or excellent. Hey. All right. So we got Min Miss Min Minis Forum launches a MGA Radeon RX 7600M XT eGPU with Oculink for $599 price tag. <laughs> This, this is another version of it though. It says here, uh, <clears throat> the Miss, Miss Minis Forum MGA brings nothing new to the table. There's a Radeon RX 7600M XT eGPU in town. It says here, do we need another Nav Navi 33 base external GPU? Probably not. But Minis Forum is launching one, one uh, anyway. The MGA1 is the latest product from this mini PC focus company, though it won't revolutionize an already saturated market. Primarily, this product is designed for Minis uh, forum system owners and is likely to be bundled with a mini PC through a promotion at some point. The MGA isn't powered by Radeon RX 7600M. The last mobile RDNA 3 GP. Uh, GPU launch this year. Instead, it features Navi 33 with 2.048 stream processors and 8 gigs of 128 bit memory, which isn't par particularly impressive at this stage. However, its performance should still surpass anything, any integrated graphics Radeon 7080M, 8080M, 8090M, etc. In any test, or gaming scenario as it is simply more capable and has fewer power restriction than iGPUs. And then it shows a picture here of mini, minimalistic design, uh, power performance, uh, follow the startup, high speed data transfer, enhance efficiency, and unleash full power and built in 240 watt. Uh, um, game on, game on. It says this product isn't an external GPU, it's a docking station equipped with multiple display connectors, including HDMI 2.1, 2 display ports 2.0, 3 USB, 3 USB uh, 2.2, 10 gigabytes per second, and one USB, th USB C 3.1 that can also power mini PC up to 65 watt. The system has a built-in 250-watt GAN uh, charger. And then it says, uh, of course, the focus here is on the Oculink 4i, a PCIe 4.0 times 4 interface for connectivity. Interestingly, this product lacks USB 4, meaning there's no PCIe tunnel, tunnel, tunneling and therefore no support for Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4. In, uh, in other words, do not buy this product unless you have OcuLink <laughs> yeah, on your uh, on your PCs or, or your port PC desktop, laptop, or portable PCs. It says here, uh, um, uh, the MGA1 is priced at five fifty nine, which means rather steep for what is what it offers. And then it shows the table here of the AMD Radeon RX seventy eight seven thousand M base external GPUs. So you have a video, you have, um, let's see the Minis Forum MGA1, and that has Oculink, but, but not USB 4, and it has two deep, 2x DP 2.0, 1x HDMI 2.1, then you got the Awe HI, Awe Hi GT 7600M, no Oculink port, but USB 4. 1x DP 1.4 1 HDMI 2.1 and store it. SS does it support uh do the first um does it um doesn't support uh 2280 SSDs and you have and then you have uh 552 dollars right <clears throat> and then you got the booster eGPU and that's 7600 MXT XT 120 watts has an Oculink port, USB 4, 2, 2x DP 2.0 and 2x HDMI 2.1. Uh, 
uh, storage M.2280 SSD and it's for $4.99 so this one right here beats the first two beat the first two already <laughs> and then you have the A&EO uh, AGO Starship 7600M 120 watts um, if I can get this uh, 120 watts Oculink port and USB 4 2x uh, DP 2.0 2x HDMI 2.1 and yes it does support M.2 2280 SSD and then the price uh, doesn't say and then you have uh, let's see the 1x uh, GPU 780M 100 watts that's the RX has an Oculink port USB 4 2, 2x DP 2.0 and 2x HDMI 2.1 and has a 899 <laughs> That's the MSRP, and then you have the 1X GPU RX 7600M XT 120 uh, watts has Oculin port and USB 4, 2X DP 2.0, 2X uh, HDMI 2.1, and yes, it does support M.2 2280 SSD, and it's 699 MSRP, and then for the GPD G1. RX 7600M XT 100 watts Oculink port and USB 4 2x DP 1.4A and 1x HDMI uh, 2.1 it doesn't support uh, 2280 uh, M.2 um, SSD and the MSRP is uh, 670 so there <laughs> so, the, so the, the first two and the last one they don't have a, um, they don't have a, they don't support 2280 uh, SSD, and then the first two doesn't, well, the first one doesn't have a US, it doesn't support USB 4, the second doesn't support uh, Oculink, right? The first one support Oculink, no USB 4, the second uh, supports uh, USB 4 but no Oculink, but the last five, they all support U Oculink and USB 4. And then when it comes down to the storage now, the last one doesn't, and the first two doesn't, but the uh, the the four the four after the second, that's the uh, booster E GPU A and Neo Go Starship One X GPU One X GPU uh, they support M.2 2280 SSDs, and yeah, so some nice nice little E GPUs here, but. Um, I would say the last, uh, I would say the the, uh, the third, the fourth, the fifth, that's the 1X GPU, the 1X one, the one GPU 2, the 1X GPU 1, the A&EO, a AGO, uh, Starship, and the Booster eGPU, they both support uh, USB 4 and Oculink, and they both support uh, M.2 2280 SSD. So yeah, get some good deals. Get some good deals on these um, on these external GPUs, but you have you got to make sure you're, that you're getting your money's worth, you know. So what do we got here? Uh, let's see how many comments we got. <laughs> they signed off in the comment section. How many we got? Let's see here. Uh, Twenty-three. <laughs> Someone said two hundred dollar sale. <laughs> Anything more? No thanks. <laughs> Who's this? Another person you say cute and elegant. I like it. The worst thing about the Minutes Forum is the name. And then Tamas say this boot boost already has M.2 SSD expansion and SD card reader include a 499. This is a 450 USD max. Then XD says this. You can't even get it for 499. It's 519 early bird price. And it says it for eight fifty nine, and then Tamas say this. You are right. Meanwhile, raise raise the early bird price. Fair enough. Then a four fifty plus nineteen. So I modify it to use four sixty nine USD. <laughs> and then who is this? King Rose said this. Not gonna lie. As much as I love Oculink, the Oculink devices that have T TB five and USB four version two are coming out. 
and then it says in parentheses or soon that has better benefits than Oculink and has more bandwidth room to allow uh, near full GPU performance on the enthusiast GPU are you able to fast charge devices <laughs> yeah anyway so uh, those are the um, those are the eGPUs and those are the prices and but the first two they're missing some they're missing some things but the and the last one but the, the but, but the number three, four, five, and six, yeah, you're get, you're definitely getting your money's worth. That's for sure. <laughs> anyway, that's my thoughts on the whole thing. Though, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars, Star Trek fan. Bored, dark side. Go. Peace.